Sea lice wreak havoc on worldwide salmon supply. There's something fishy going on with the world's salmon supply, and it's not something the fish are doing. According to the Associated Press, parasitic sea lice have infected salmon farms in Chile, the United States, Canada, Scotland, and Norway. Once a parasite infects the salmon, it becomes inedible. Previously, salmon were fed a pesticide to defend against the sea lice. This was reportedly effective until 2009, when the lice began to overcome it and spread globally. Fewer salmon but consistent consumer demand means higher prices for all things salmon, unfortunately. Keep watching for more on Creatures from the Murky Depths. Study says ocean farming could provide all the seafood we need. New research suggests that ocean farming could be enough to fill much of the global demand for seafood. Researchers suggest a farm area the size of Lake Michigan could satisfy the world's current demand for seafood. Their study says that an ocean area of 11.4 million square kilometers could satisfy fishing demands, while 1.4 square million kilometers would be needed for bivalve seafood, such as oysters. However, experts commenting on the study say that while space isn't a limitation for the expansion of ocean farming, costs for operation, production, and transportation could be. Climate change and how humans interact with large-scale ocean farms are another factor that could impact the feasibility of relying on ocean farming. Seabed life doubles in ocean warming research. A team of British and American scientists investigating the impact of ocean warming on marine life did just that, warmed up the ocean. Scientists placed heated panels on the seabed near the UK's Rothera research station on the Antarctic Peninsula. The panels heated the water a few millimeters above them for a year, with researchers checking in and photographing the area periodically. Researchers found the amount of sea life there had doubled after a rise of one degree Celsius. But after an increase of two degrees Celsius, only certain species continued to grow. The encrusting bryozoan grew almost twice as fast under the experimental warmer conditions. The scientists say the results provide insight into what species of seabed life will survive as the oceans continue warming over the coming century. Pretty soon, some sharks will have a Napoleon complex. Damn it, climate change! Climate change may actually be altering the size of the planet's fish. A recent study published in the journal Global Change Biology suggests that rising temperatures in oceans might be shrinking fish. Warmer waters mean less oxygen, something fish need to grow into adulthood. Fish use their gills to breathe underwater. From an evolutionary perspective, less oxygen would see gills adapting to warmer waters by becoming smaller. Researchers found that warming oceans may cause fish such as tuna and trout to shrink by around 30 and 8% respectively. They estimate that worldwide, this trend could reduce the amount of fish that can be caught for food by 30%. But hey, at least on the positive side, you might soon be able to put a pet shark in a fish bowl.